Well, here comes Peter Cottontail. Thanks for joining us here on FYI. It's a series we have every Wednesday with Tamara, and we are at the Sage Exchange once again talking about baskets, and we're doing this on a budget. On a budget, always a budget. Um, everybody's out, they're getting ready to plant, they're getting their soil, they're getting their grass seed, straw. Well, these are like the major ingredients to the most awesomest baskets for kids. Okay. And they'll have so much fun making them. All right, so I need to get straw. You, straw. Okay. It must be straw. There not, is a difference, not, not hay. Difference. We learned that. Grass seed and some potting soil. Okay. And all I did is I picked up, these are a, like a $2. Okay. They have different sizes. You're going to take, take any type of a basket, really, that's okay. wire. Um, you're going to fill it with the straw. Mm -hmm. You're going to the dirt in, you're going to put the grass seed in it, okay. and it takes about two weeks for the grass to come up. It's a real live Easter basket. They are adorable. I have them over here. She has the finished product. Look how cute they are. Complete with the little Easter eggs, and you could put whatever you want in them. Look at how adorable that is. It's something that is so easy to do. Again, you need to uh, wait a couple weeks so that the grass grows, correct? Yeah, and the, the kids just love them. They're so nice outside to hang them in the trees when they're doing their little Easter hunts. All I did here was take some of these, again, little fabric strips, tie it. I took some food coloring and soaked Nice. the straw to turn it pink on this one. You can see that. For the bottom part, I love that. There is like no limit. You could just do whatever you want. Put your, it's, and it's all, you know, safe. Everything is safe with it. And you can find all the directions on Tamara's website. Next week, we are gonna be working with pallets. What's the sense? We'll find out next week right here on FYI. <laughs>